Mike Evans, and I have a total of four children, uh, three girls and one boy, and about eight or nine, uh, give or take, grandchildren. Buffalo, raised and born, uh, outside of eight a half years I was in the military. Uh, I was a Vietnam veteran, so I, that had a stigma. You know, I couldn't even get uh, into the American Legion or Veterans of Foreign Wars. They wouldn't take me. How I love my father, more than you can imagine. He raised us. He worked three different jobs. He did what he could. He was the only parent we had. After spending 17 years in the same apartment, um, I got an eviction notice. Uh, I, didn't, I couldn't find a place that I could afford. One thing. The landlord neglected the apartment, therefore my father had carbon monoxide poisoning combined with walking pneumonia. My father has lost animals because of this house. The guy told me if my cats hadn't woke me up, I'd been dead because the, the amount of carbon monoxide, it was a bad burner in the stove. I got a call from Danielle Cook from Catholic Charities. She asked if, if she and a uh, one of the uh, nurses, uh, Gail, could come out and talk to me. I said, sure, fine. And when they came over, it seemed like I was their only client. That's the way I was treated. It was almost like a friendship. How's your health? They went over, they took a, 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 ca a catalog of all my medicine. Everything, all the problems I had, emotional problems, started disappearing because of Catholic charities. The things I was worried about the most were the things that they took care of. I don't even believe they work here on earth. I believe they came down from heaven because the things they did only a miracle. It, it's only a miracle. They uh, found me in this new apartment in Chicktawaga, which is like night and day compared to my old one. That was, I said, how am I gonna get the money, you know? For, to put the security upon it. Man, there's you got to that for me. I never heard of uh, the city mission had a moving uh, group of uh, men that the move you. They did, they got me that. I have never seen anybody in my life accommodate somebody like that. My father was getting very winded, he was getting very sick, and they told him, sit in that chair and tell us where you want everything. Do not move. Now that I've got uh, uh, this, this apartment, it, I feel so much better. Uh, physically and, and emotionally, it's amazing what they, uh, Catholic Charities can do for you. I gave a little uh, in the past. I'm trying to give a little bit more because I got so much from them. You're not giving it to the Catholic Church. What you're doing is giving it to people who are gonna help other people who need the help. It's just, um, it, it changed my life. If Catholic Charities wouldn't have been there for my father, he would be dead. He would have never been able to live a normal life in that apartment. He just, he would have died. He would not be here right now if it was not for Catholic Charities and Project Hope. We went to different colleges and then ran into each other a few years later and started hanging out. We had a lot of fun together and then a couple years later we got married. Uh, well, we found out we were expecting our first child. We weren't really in a financial situation. We were doing fine. We both had jobs and uh, everything was great. And then um, by the time he was born, I had lost my job. We were just really tense and it was just difficult to be united on anything because we were so worried about money. 
when I first had Cooper, uh, just being there in the hospital and being exhausted, the nurse came in and mentioned Catholic Charities WIC to us, and she asked if I knew anything about WIC, and I didn't. She filled out the forms for me and told me everything about it. My husband didn't want to even apply for it uh, because he associated it with being poor, and we didn't really think that we were. Um, I think a lot of people don't know that that WIC is out there and they associate it with people who are in a lower demographic, but that's not the case. That sometimes you need a little boost and then Catholic Charities is there to help you for that. WIC is a nutrition program that helps women, infant and children learn about everything that you need nutritionally, either as an expecting mother or a nursing mother and an infant. And it provides formula for infants and baby food and cereal, milk, cheese, eggs, bread, fruits and vegetables and cereal healthy foods. Eating together is really important too because Cooper likes to eat everything that we eat. I think if it wasn't for Wick, I don't think he would have gotten the right start to being a healthy eater. It really strengthened us and brought us together as a family. We just play games and sing songs and read books and everything all the time. He loves to play the drums. <laughs> Anything with music, he likes to dance and sing and have a good time. I saw that there was a temporary position at WIC. I went for that, and it's a nutrition assistant job, so I work with clients about what foods they should be feeding their children and helping them get enrolled in the program. I love being able to work for WIC and to be able to give back to the people who helped me and to be able to, to spread that gift and to be able to help other people who are in a situation that I was in not too long ago. I have such a love and respect for this organization. Um, I have four sisters, one brother. We're a very close family, very religious family. I used to work at U.S. Sugar. I made good money while I was working there. I got injured, and they laid me off, and that was the end of that. So I was sitting down <laughs> watching TV. I'm going to be real with it. And I kept seeing this commercial saying, you can go back to school, you can get your high school diploma, you can do it. Why well, sit there and procrastinate all the time? And it was just nagging me. So I decided, since I was not working, to go, and I knew where they print the Abley, it's, it's, it's a Catholic charity program. I went over there, I signed up, and seven months later, it's, I have my high school come and see. I'm here to tell you, it's not easy, but if you apply yourself and you study, like I did, you're gonna get that piece of paper, and it feels good. I got a frame. I'm proud of that I got that. So, if I can do it, anybody can do this, because that, piece of paper makes a difference. Knowledge is power. After that, I went to the ECMC. I just decided to put an application in there. 35, 40 days later, I got hired. It's out there. Those jobs are hard to come by. If you got that knowledge, you ain't got to be out here getting yourself in trouble in these streets. That's not a life for me. Behind bars with a bunch of guys. I, I have a, a problem with when I see young people, especially young people, when I know and they know they should be in school, just walking around like everything is cool, everything is not cool. And these, these kids, they know me well because they don't nickname me the preacher. And when they see me, they be trying to, know, ah, come here for a minute. Let me hold on, hold on for a minute. Let me talk with you. Why you not in school? So I nagged them so much that they went back. I got them in the program. These kids, as well as grown-ups, have completed the program and they're now on their high school equivalency. I'm currently enrolled at ECC downtown campus. I'm taking college prep first before I take my curricular. My curricular is troubleshooting computers. Troubleshooting computers, I will be able to be my own boss and with working with Catholic Charity, it gave me that oomph that I needed to do. So you young folks, as well as you old folks, don't give up. Strive, because knowledge is power.